thinking of that. Just gripping images. The search and rescue mission in the Philippines is underway after Typhoon Haiyan flattened parts of the country. The international community is helping out with the effort and Canada's disaster assistance response team is now on the ground. About 200 Canadian Forces members are in disaster stricken areas. Our Jennifer Hall is here with more on that. Jennifer, what are Canadian military personnel doing? Everything from clearing the way to remote communities, uh, Christine, to delivering much needed food, uh, water and medical aid, as you say. And DART was last deployed after the earthquake in Haiti and after another cargo plane left CFB Trenton in Ottawa yesterday. We will now have about 200 members of that team on the ground in the Philippines helping out. We've been checking in with our David Common, who is with DART, and here's some more of the pictures he's managed to send us of uh, like one-on-one -on -one personal care, sometimes the most basic medical needs. We know there have been a lot of waterborne illnesses, dehydration, Hydration is a serious factor, and uh, so medical leave being number one. But we also know that Canada, among other things, has sent over uh, a loader, like um, construction equipment, to clear these roadways to get to the remote areas to get that aid in. And Christine, we are also told that Canada is considering sending some helicopters, as many as three to six. That would really enable them to get into the remote islands that just can't be reached by foot right now. Mm-hmm. So that's what DART is doing, Jennifer. What are other countries doing on the ground there? The global effort is increasing uh, every day as we speak. In fact, a little while ago, we heard the EU announcing more money will be donated. Uh, what we know, for example, is that the Americans have thousands of people there now. The USS George Washington aircraft carrier is there. They've been dropping food by helicopter. Those The helicopter's able to land on that aircraft. Uh, British Marines also sending in aircraft soldiers on the ground. At the request of the Philippines, Many other countries have been stepping up as well, such as Japan, Australia has set up a field hospital there. Uh, notably, perhaps, China today is being criticized on many fronts for not doing more. We know it is now saying it will send $1.6 million in aid, but compare that to Australia sending $30 million, South Korea sending $5 million, and China, Christine, actually has a massive hospital ship, uh, state-of-the-art, with 300 hospital beds. It's so far it has not committed but for the most part the world stepping up and adding more almost daily Christine all right Jennifer thanks for the latest you're welcome